Welcome back. You're still tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso right here on SABC3. Time for us to catch up with our international entertainment news. And joining us this morning is our brand new Mrs. South Africa, Hlengiwe Twala. So it's great having you here this morning. Thank you for having <laughs> me. So. Well, we are in great company because we are talking about powerful women this morning making a change for the greater good in the world. And Hollywood is not short of a list of women, uh, women doing just that, which is why events like the Glamour Women of the Year Awards takes place to reward women for their hard work, for their dedication, and just all round for being amazing as they are. Now, while Hollywood stars often get in uh, the right or, or get in right with their music and their movies and their careers, they sometimes do the complete opposite when it comes to the red carpet. So here's our best and worst looks of the year for the glitzy evening of the Glamour Woman of the Year Award. So making our best dressed, hands down, has to be Gwen Stefani, who has come a long way from her ain't no holla back girl days and her punk rock days and she's become really the epitome of elegance in this two-tone yet sexy gown isn't that incredible i think that's that's a good choice for i her. know is that like skin in the middle or is that still part of the dress do you think i, I can't think tell that's skin do you think mm. that's skin i think that's mm. skin all right yes. <laughs> while metallics may be mm. an outgoing trend chanel iman certainly pulled off this look that not only showed off her awesome figure oh. but also matched her skin tone perfectly <gasps> oh Lingine, i can see you in something like that do you think so i think it'll pop on your skin <laughs> i don't know oh. Amazing. Three kids. <laughs> what? Do you think? No, what? <laughs> you have three kids. Yes, that still beautiful. boggles my mind. <laughs> Where did they come from? My word. And last but not least, we have Frida Pinto, who actually has Aww. us surprised in how this look actually works. I mean, it has lace, it's got sequins, it's got tulle, but she looks absolutely amazing. She pulls it off. She, she really, does. really does. I'm, I'm a fan of simplistic. I know. Although that's not simplistic. That's not, simplistic. but it looks simplistic on her. It looks simplistic. It does. Well, not looking so amazing. <laughs> Unfortunately, Kat Graham, ay ay ay, what were you thinking? Oh. I mean, this whole oversized outfit just makes her look like the Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. Oh. Definitely not good. Perhaps she uh, should have taken some tips from Chanel on how to pull off the metallic trend. Also missing the mark completely is Amber Heard. Ay, 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 ay. Um, we know that she went through a recent divorce with Johnny Depp, but uh, just because you are married to an older man doesn't mean you need to start dressing like a granny. I'm just saying. <laughs> uh, this look definitely belongs um, on the t on the table where the where the other doilies are. And then, not uh, last but not least, we've got Ashley Graham. Now um, I don't know. We're all about celebrating curves and flaunting them. But um, yeah, you also just need to do so appropriately as yeah. well. Hey, I love true. Ashley Graham, but I don't know what she was thinking with that particular outfit choice. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what yeah. our international stars get up to, and we still have our local star. I'm talking about Mrs. South Africa 2017. She's been with us the entire morning, and of course, we spoke about Lengiwe's year of, well, at least from the winning moment and going to the Mrs. World pageant. But of course, now we want to get to know you when you're not wearing the sash, when you're yes. not wearing the crown. What do you love to do with your family? Well, personally, I love to read. Okay. Yeah, I read a lot. Um, so I read to my kids as well. Mm. You know, I find that when you read, then you get to, your mind gets to go to places mm. and imagine and opens them up. Mm. But as a family, we go out. We go out to movies. Uh, we have fun together. We take long walks. We live in a beautiful place where that we're able to, you know, take long walks and just enjoy the fresh air. Yeah. So that's what we do. We enjoy being, you know, with each other. Yeah. yeah, I love that. Well, talking about being with each other, I know that uh, your responsibilities are going to increase. I'm sure there'll yeah. be lots of traveling as the new Mrs. South Africa. How are you going to juggle being Mrs. South Africa 2017 and still being a mom and a wife and everything that goes with that? Like I think I, I mentioned earlier, I think having you know a supportive husband, yeah. you know having a supportive family that's really just going to work in my favor, and also um, my kids are much older, yeah. you know, and um, I live in a community where other moms, you know, have put up their hands and said, you know what, Klingi, whatever that you need, because they are so proud. You know, when one mom does it, yeah. we do for all the other moms. Exactly. You know, they're so proud of me. Oh, look at that. Yes. 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 And Mrs. Walsh, so 
they've really just really um, said, you know, we will help with whatever that you need. Oh, yeah. While I'm in Cape Town, I have one of my friends who's looking after my kids, helping my husband, you know. Um, so I'm so blessed in oh, that way. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. Now tell me, is, uh, has pageants always been something that you've participated in, always wanted to do? No, not at all. Really? Um, not at all. Uh, Mrs. South Africa was the first pageant. But you know, when I entered it and I really got to know that it isn't truly uh, a pageant, it's a woman empowerment program. Yeah. Because I felt so empowered by the, just the incredible women, you know, that were, they were there. And uh, I learned so much from the women. So I take that. I take that home with me. I take that. I took that to uh, Mrs. Wald to South Korea with me and um, it's just not really a pageant it's just it changes your life it transforms you in the yeah. most awesome way in a positive way yeah. so I'm a better mother I'm a better human being because of this whole experience but, but I, I also want to know so you say this was your first pageant what yeah. made you decide to enter well it was very personal for me I had gone through um, a very very tough time when I uh, lost my mom to cancer That's a couple awesome. of years ago and it really broke my heart it was heavy on my heart and um, I decided that um, I wanted to do something to raise awareness yeah. mm -hmm. um, and when it almost hit home with me uh, as well I had my cancer scare a year ago I thought you know what it begins with me Shocking. for me to be able to be the change that I want to see in the world and empower other people and empower men and women to say this disease can affect anybody. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you're black or white or rich or poor. You know, it does happen. So we just need to love ourselves enough to be proactive and go get checked. Well, I love that you certainly are one of the most inspirational people that Thank I've met. You. You've used such a very, you know, trying time in your life to yeah. bring about so much positive change. So thank you so much for that, Lingiwe. Thank and you. And congratulations on being our <laughs> Mrs. South Africa 2017. I'm so excited. <laughs> wow, it is so wonderful having our Mrs. South Africa 2017 in studio. And of course, we wish her all of the best for everything that is to come. The best is yet to come. Well, let's find out what is yet to come on your Feel Good Breakfast Show.